saying something like that. Because it is good, good in, theory. in theory. It oh, is. It's fantastic. It, so it, tell it, me how it, to practice. Here's it, your it. opportunity, Senator. Let me finish. <laughs> to tell us how to practically put it to work. I'm all for small well, government. You, st you, stop, you stop the spending spree. You stop growing government so fast that you can't afford to pay for it. You don't increase the size of the government from 20% of GDP to 25% of GDP in two years. You don't add a trillion dollars of new debt to the to our kids back every year for the next 10 years. So you, you don't pass a budget. The president doesn't send up a budget which increases, doubles the debt in five years, triples it in, th in 10 years. You don't say that you're for fiscal responsibility and then propose a whole panoply of new programs which you can't pay for. That's not theory, that's reality. That's what we're facing as a nation. So we're when, facing when, the when, reality of a fiscal meltdown right. of our country, which is going to have a massive impact on people's lives and especially cost a lot of jobs in this country. So my partner, Melissa, Senator Gregg, is really asking for specifics. If you don't believe that we should have a one Point three trillion dollar budget. Which programs are you willing to cut? Are you willing to tell schools no money for you? Do you and and do you side then with those who say? I mean, you look back at the Great Depression. Uh, economists say we landed back into a real problems in 1937 when people got onto cutting a deficit and a lot of government spending was pulled back before it should have been. Well, first off, nobody's saying no money for schools. What an absurd statement to make. Well, I'm asking, and what a, what a dishonest no, statement to make. On its face, you're being fundamentally Senator dishonest Gray, when you make that type of statement. Is which I mean, do you know how much money we're spending at the federal government on which, education this year? Senator, you're going to be asked to cut certain programs if you're on the Senate Banking <clears throat> Committee. Which programs Just tell us, would what you, you want, to want to cut? Oh, I have no problem telling you. I would freeze discretionary spending, a real freeze, not a, not a freeze plus inflation. I would eliminate the TARP money, which would get us close to $400 billion. I would end the stimulus spending effective in June of this year, uh, if not sooner, so that we could recover all the money that's going to be spent outside the, the window uh, of this recession, and we shouldn't be spending it and adding it to the debt. I would take a major effort to try to reform our entitlement programs. In fact, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, we had a vote to try to do that under a bill which I proposed with Senator Conrad. So I've made very specific proposals and am willing to stand by them. The problem is that uh, this administration's view of governance is that economic prosperity is created by growing the government dramatically. And then it gets misrepresented by people like yourself who say they're going to that if you do any of this stuff, you're going to end up not funding education. I mean, that, that's that statement alone that, is the most irresponsible statement I've heard. That, well, it wasn't a statement, it was a probably question. In a month. It wasn't a statement, it was a question. And there question. are a lot of irresponsible statements made by reporters, and that was the most irresponsible. Senator, statement. with respect, that's not what she said. She was asking you what you would like no, to cut specifically, she said. and Senator I think Gray, you answered the question. That's exactly we appreciate what she said. Go back time. and read your transcript. We appreciate your you time know, you today. Can't, you can't be duplicitous about this. You can't make a, a representation and then claim you didn't make it. You know, it, it just shouldn't work that way. You've got to have some integrity on your side of this camera, too. She asked you what you would like to cut. She asked you if you'd like to cut schools. You said no. No, it was you're a suggesting question and we answer. should have a zero, zero in education. Well, of course, nobody's suggesting that. Nobody's even implying that. But in your introduction to me, you said that the education funding would be cut. Well, education no, funding didn't. isn't going no. to be cut. Senator, yes, I, I, I'm sorry for any miscommunication that we've had. And as always, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you sharing your particular perspective on what should be done to take America into a prosperous future. Thank you. Thank you. Big numbers out today from AT&T and Apple on the heels of Apple's latest high-profile product release. So my partner, Melissa, Senator Gregg, is really asking for specifics. If you don't believe that we should have a $1.3 trillion budget, which programs are you willing to cut? Are you willing to tell schools no money for you? And then it gets misrepresented by people like yourself who say they're going to that if you do any of this stuff, you're going to end up not funding education. I mean, that, That's that statement alone that, is the most irresponsible statement I've heard. That, well, the, so my partner, Melissa, Senator Gregg, is really asking for specifics. If you don't believe that we should have a $1.3 trillion budget, which programs are you willing to cut? Are you willing to tell schools no money for you?